All right, I'm gonna go over how to get the new title splicer for season of the splicer. But of course, as you can tell, yes, as of this recording, we do not have the title, but uh, we will get it eventually. It's just, just time gated. The nocturne step triumph over here. We're missing one triumph, which is time gated. As on the roadmap, it does show us a date, August 10th, um, for the epilogue. And best to assume is that, that is when this triumph will unlock. What it is called, We Are Enough. It says, Witness the final events of the Season of Splicer. And that will give us the last page of Endless, Beneath the Endless Night. But of course, we can't do anything about that. But I'm going to go over still on how to t get these other triumphs. As this is probably the easiest title to get. There is no RNG. There is no... Uh, you know, you need a fire team. It's just straight up grind a little bit, but better to get started now, even though you still earn titles after the season ended. But of course, we're in the third season of this expansion. And as soon as the Witch Queen expansion comes out, you cannot earn this title. I'm pretty sure it's you have basically, you know, uh, up until the expansion, a uh, new next expansion to earn uh, titles. And then after that, these become legacy uh, titles. So. Uh, best of sort now and once we get this done which will be in a month or so two months or, yeah a month or so uh you will be everybody will get this so might as well get it started now get some progress done so they're not waiting to the last minute pretty much so best to do that i guess so quickly i'm gonna go over how to get all these triumphs and then i'll go into detail quickly and talk about some quick ways to get these done but i'm gonna quickly run do a quick rundown if you don't care enough for some of these but here we go. So walk the true path, complete all Path of Splicer quests. You gotta make sure, obviously, you need to own the season pass. I think to do the, to do these quests, and there's eight of them in total. All they want you, uh, you just gotta go ahead and do all eight. Talk to Mithrax or talk to Savala. I don't know when how to start it, but it gives you a a, a marker on where to start it. So just go ahead and finish all eight. It may take a while, but you can do it all. You can do it all in one day because they're all out before you have to wait every week. But now you can just skip everything. Next, we have unlock all Spicer Gauntlet upgrades. This one, uh, you're gonna go spend currency and buy all 21. It's pretty expensive, but uh, I'll tell you how that all works after a bit. This one, wanna collect all season mods, is also in the Mithrax uh, Servitor thing. You get to at least rank 10 with the uh, rep of the vendor, and you get all seven. This one, complete the quest, a secret fusion. F fusion. This one is from Banshee. Pick up the uh, virtual weapon, which is the fusion rifle. It's really easy to do, nothing too hard. You finish that, and you're uh, good to go. This one is defeat the source at endless light. As as long as you finish uh, Path of Splicer number eight, you get this done. Just defeat uh, the Kura, 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 can't speak, I can't say it, uh, bo uh, uh, boss in uh, Expunge Delphi, and you, you win. Uh, this one we have defeat combatants with splice weapons. So just equip any weapon from this season. Um, that's from the uh, Umbro Engram or the Splicer Engram, and you need to kill a thousand in total. That might take a bit of time, but uh, uh, good luck with that one. Next up we have uh, let's see, wire cutter. Defeat Vex while wearing season of Splicer armor. Bonus for each armor equipped. I'm not sure what the bonus is, but I put on like four pieces of five armor and it's really fast. Just do uh, override as you would think, and you get a thousand kills in total for that one. Looks like defeat champions override, you need to kill a hundred of them in total. This one is very easy. There's like five or six champions in each override, so just go ahead and kill them all. <laughs> and then defeat champions and expunge. And it's just 30 you'll get this one passively done so don't worry about it too much but make sure you kill them all right so that's the quick rundown nothing too difficult uh we'll now go over the long explanations for each of these so hopefully if you enjoyed the short ones then uh good now i'm gonna go over the long ones so walk the true path like i've said you want to go ahead and talk to Zavala, talk to Mithrax, and you get this, some cutscenes, get some story, and you want to get the first one. Once you complete the first Pathless Blaster quest, which usually entails, you only need to at least have one charge in the gauntlet here, which is Splicer Gauntlet, um, and you have to go ahead and get 8th Ether. Ether is just getting kills in uh, playlist activities like public events, 
and or just kills in general so like crucible gives you it you know gambit strikes raids dungeons all that kind of stuff and just killing anything will give it to you and once you get 50 you want to go ahead and apply the key code and then that will give you one charge which is a yellow uh, square there and i give you one charge and then that will let you open up the chest at the end of an override once you do that the next step will be you know talk to getting some lore and doing all that stuff once you get to about week three though you'll get your first expunge which is expunge lab rooms and you gotta just go ahead and finish and they're like these small quests all it is is just you know kill some enemies do some mechanics kill a boss at the end and that's it so nothing too difficult to do but there's eight of those steps there's three different expunges and then at the six expunge or not six expunge yeah a six expunge should be corrupted which is taken versions of it and uh pretty pretty much the same thing but a little bit difficult in uh, uh power and uh I don't know, taking enemies, I don't know. <laughs> but of course, they're located here, if you don't know where they are. So taking Labyrinth is in Tango Shore, right here. Taking Sticks here, uh, not taking, Expunge Sticks. Then we have Expunge Tartarus, and then Expunge Delphi, which is for the last step. But they pretty much, if you just uh, track, the tri track the quest, then you will get it done, and you'll find exactly where it is on the map. Just do eight of them, nothing too difficult, nothing too hard. Get them all done, they'll give you currency, which is uh, data, encrypted data, which is what you need for Gala upgrades. Gala upgrades, they're located when you head to the Servitor, uh, Splicer Servitor, and you want to go ahead and click on, right click on this, and it'll give you a, it'll give you a tutorial of uh, how to get the first one, but you don't need to get every single one unlocked. Now you might see some that some of them might be unlocked, uh, behind a, a, a padlock like yes it's true but you start to unlock those once you start doing the pathless placer quests so make sure you keep doing those and these will unlock eventually now you don't need a lot of decrypted data it's a it's pretty they're pretty not hard to get and I'll explain how to get some after this here but you are need a lot so this first row you need 700 in total to get this first row done this is 300 each, so here is 900, then we have 1800, then 2100. So right now, that's 2900 in total. Then we have 1000, 2000, 3500, right? So then you're going to need at least, let's see, 2500 plus uh, 2000 is 5000, 5900? The math's wrong, maybe something like that. No, wait, no, I'm missing the 500. Yeah, so 3,000. Yeah, hang on. Yep, I got it. 3,000. 5,900 plus 500. So it's 3, 6,400 in total. Um, so yeah, you need 6,400, which I, I can't lie, it's a lot, but if you keep playing passively you'll get things done um what you want to get though is probably uh first things to upgrade you will want to get um these upgrades here wire walker but not first eventually you will need to get this this is very useful i'll speed things up by 10 times and then you're going to want to get um these are pretty good. Uh, eh, that's pretty much it. The rest is okay if you want gear drops or you just go row by row. But Wire Walker is very, very important to get and unlock that first, honestly. The other thing that's important is your season pass. There is two buffs you can, three buffs you can get once you get all that done. This is the decrypted data boost three, and you increase decrypted data locked chests and seasonal activities and this is a huge boost i think normally you get like 45 35 to crypto data from doing override chests you don't have this done once you're over here you get about like you get 75 to crypto data per run which is a huge boost honestly 
uh, I would say it's worth the grind this as well. So go ahead and do that pretty much. Now, 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 the, the next thing I want to say is how to get decrypted data. Now, this took a while to do because you have to play a lot. And there's only two, two, for, for, if I'm get, if I'm wrong about this, I'm sorry, but there's only two ways to get decrypted data right now. One, it is the override playlist, and this rotates a different one each week for three different ones. And each time you complete it, which takes about, depending on how fast you guys are, 10 minutes to 11 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 to 10 minutes, it takes to finish one override activity. Um, and you get about, if, and and then if you're, you know, tier, if you have the, if you have the boost, then it's 75 per. So, you know, every 10 minutes, uh, every uh, every hour, which is six attempts at least, so five attempts, you can get, uh, you know, 300-ish, 375, 300, 400, 200 data. So that's okay if you need 6,000 in total, All right? I don't know, is that good or bad? Up to you. The other way to get it is doing corrupted, corrupted uh, expunges. And those, are, like I said, you, you unlock them by doing the uh, Path of the Splicer activities. Once you have those unlocked, you can go ahead and do those and you'll get the crypto data whenever you finish a expunge, corrupt expunge. The fastest corrupt expunge is Tartarus. So do those over and over again, you'll get currency. Um, it does matter which one you do. Like when I did Corrupted Labyrinth, I got 65 in total. But when I, I, far, I, I farmed this like 20 times, because that's the only one that's unlocked. Uh, it gave me 75 per run, it took, and it took me about six to eight minutes to finish this one uh, every time. I did it like 20 times in one day, so don't mind me. Um, but one thing I remember though is that if you want to unlock the chest for the uh, corrupted keys, you have to or corrupted chests at the end of a corrupted expunge, you have to make sure you have the corrupted key cr corrupted key codes, and these drop for just by killing enemies in general. And you can also do crucible, do mayhem. It'll be fast. They drop on the floor, but if you if you do miss them, they go to your postmaster. So make sure to check your postmasters once you've I uh, think you got one or not. But they were like a blue triangle on the floor. Pick them up. Get them all and so what happens i don't see i've been talking about this one triumph for a long time but this is like this is like the core activity here and i'll tell you this the, if you're just grinding for decrypted data you're gonna spend a lot of time doing this and it's an endless loop no pun intended all right but the truth is it's the truth this is an endless loop. All you're doing to unlock these goddamn splicer gauntlet upgrades, all you're doing is this. You're gonna be doing override activities for data encrypted uh, for decrypted data, right? Then you have a chance to get a corrupted key code. Then you get the corrupted key code, and then you go and do a a corrupted expunge. Then once you get that, you get you get more decrypted data, and then you go back to override kill some enemies if you didn't get any, even get a, a key then do it again get some more day data and then a key drops get the key then go back to corrupted expunge or you know keep building your keys you're literally doing corrupted key code uh, overrides to get corrupted key codes and then do corrupted key then doing the corrupted expunges to get more data it's faster than overrides to the corrupted expunges but you know, you can't just farm them infinitely as you need the corrupted key codes to get them open. So you won't get currency if you don't get them. So uh, good luck with that. That's what I did. So that's that triumph. Hopefully that helped a little bit. That may be a little bit hard to explain, but uh, that's power in your hands. So good luck. You need a lot. Next we have Nocturne. Nocturne goes hand in hand over a walk the true path. You get books or you get pages for completing the path of the splicer. So as soon as you finish one path of the splicer, uh, quest you claim these triumphs here and you'll get a page a book page for the seasonal triumph there so good luck with that nothing too special nothing too confusing just gotta wait until you know get them done but this triumph gives you the book so that's what we're missing like i've said earlier in the video okay next up we have Mod it out, mod it out. You'll need to get to at least rank 10 
and the seasonal vendor uh, reputation, um, all you need to get is 300. And whenever you earn the crypto data, you will automatically increase your rank. So you only need 300 per rank. And like I explained in the second triumph, you're going to get this done passively. There's no time gate on this. You can get this done in one day if you want. But like I said, like I just explained, it's a lot of grinding. If you, just do, if you, you know, let's save it to last minute, you're going to feel a little slog. I, I mean, maybe I should have did this earlier. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot to do. There's no speeding up the process. It's all fixed activity times. You can't speed it up. There's no way to speed it up. Override is slow, so it sucks. But there you go. Get to rank ten and claim your up your uh, mods here. Get three thousand uh, to quit the data in total, and you're good to go. Let's see what else we have. And so when we have complete the quest, a sacred fusion. So a sacred fusion. Who here have the quests uh, that I don't remember how I did it, but uh, there it is. You gotta go ahead and defeat targets and playlist activities. So crucible, gambit, strikes, um, and you earn bonus progress with using a fusion rifle, like disintegrations or slow damage and crucible. Yeah, uh, whatever you know. Um, so you want this done fast. Uh, how about uh, using uh, Yotun? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I think about. I don't know. I don't remember how hard this is. This is really. I think I did it really fast. This is really easy to do. And make sure that you have a stasis subclass equipped. This is like uh, since Beyond Light, if you own the expansion, right? This is like a bonus because this is this quest is free for everybody. I think, right? Um. And if you don't own Beyond Light, you don't have a Stasis subclass. So it's like an extra, oh, you bought Beyond Light. Here's some extra bonus product just because you have it. So equip it. There you go. I don't know. Just kill things and do activities and you get it done. It's been really, really easy, I think. I don't remember any. I don't remember anything about this quest. I just did it on the first day and it seemed to be just something you could do really easily. All right. Next up, we have Defeat the Source of Endless Night. So this is just the last quest, which is... Half of Splicer 8 or V111 or VIII is what it's supposed to be in Roman numerals. Uh, I'm so cool. Anyways, um, <laughs> just defeat uh, Kua, 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 here we go. Uh, uh, Blade Transform um, and the last quest, which is Expunge Delphi. You'll get it unlocked just by, it will handhold you and you'll just get it done. Um, once it's once you once it once it's available for you, like if you go once it's once once it's like this, and there it is, defeat, Korea, blade transform the dreaming mind, Delphi. There we go. Just do that, and you're done. Nothing too difficult. Nothing too complicated. That one. That one's just self-explanatory. Next up, we have defeat combatants using season splicer weapons. This one, you need a thousand total thousand total kills. And what it means by Season of Splicer weapons is these weapons over here as located in the Season of Splicer Umbral Engram. So these are the guns we need to use in order to get progress for this triumph here, which is uh, this one. So either Chroma Rush, Ignition Code, Grid Skipper, Farewell, Shattered Cipher, and Shogjoiner's Tail. Now, you can this it doesn't say where to get these kills and understand yes you can go ahead and go to like an infinite grind spot and just get it done as fast as you want but if you want to be efficient and just don't do that what about i just said earlier about how much override you gotta play how much expunges you gotta play but just use the season of the spice weapons in those activities to get the progress so that you're not wasting time you know it's not hard to get a thousand kills but best to just do it all together you know with your grind i honestly just say it saves not save your time it just why not you know that's my best advice just go ahead and do that um i use the auto rifle a lot and the shotgun is good for confirming kills and then the only heavy you have is the machine guns so, i mean you can use it if you want it's okay not the best but it's it's okay it's the only heavy we got all right, 
Next triumph we have is getting kills with our with armor. Sorry, I just that thunderstorm. You can't hear it on mic, but that was loud. Anyways, uh, it's, it's, it's distracting me here. Okay, so either wear armor from the the season. So it is this armor here and this uh, umbrangram here the spicer regalia now i don't recommend you using currency to get the armor um you get the armor basically by doing uh expunges doing uh o override missions uh, override, override activities you have a chance to get the armor so i I'd, I'd take that chance and you know not not spend your currency and just you know get that and of course you get more progress if more equipped and yet this is a thousand get kills in total Killing Vex. It just says kill Vex anywhere as well, but just play override. There's always Vex and override. So just do that uh, as well. This, these, these two will be passively done if you're using the correct stuff. Using the armor, using the weapons of this season. Um, apparently people say that you can just use it, the ornaments. Like if you, if you have it, if you, you know, transmog it, right? And uh, people say that it might, it counts to progress. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, you can do that too if you don't want to just make new armor or use crappy armor. You want to use your masterwork armor, then go ahead with that, I guess. Okay, next up we have Virtual Fighter. This one is Defeat Champions and Override. This one's very, very simple. There are... Uh, how do I count this? There is about... Like... I don't know why I've even explained this, but like, like similar to what we're talking about, the power in your hands and override activities, you're going to do like a lot of override activities uh, without a doubt. So again, this, this is passively done. Just look for them. I'm not sure if you need to kill them or you can, if you can tag them and something else, that's fine. But at least three champions spawn during the boss battle, uh, at least two or three roaming ones spawn in the just regular phase and then whenever the portal opens up once you are deposited at least like five moats into the middle of the activity uh you will can just go ahead and take the portal and there's always a champion so at least each override run at least nine or ten champions are killed so that's just 10 or 10 11 or 12 override runs which you have to do at least eight for doing this quest. So you get these done very quickly without worrying about anything else. Lastly, we have Brute Force, which is defeat champions and expunge. This is just the uh, activities that you get from doing just, uh, you know, from doing the quests, you unlock them from Path of the Splicer. Um, these are really easy to do. There's about three, most of the time, three champions um, per expunge, so you need to do 10 in total. A lot of times you can skip champions in these. Or maybe it's just, I think it's actually two per run. I could be wrong. Sometimes it's three. Depends which one you're doing. Um, I think it's two though. The best one you could probably farm, in my opinion, is a uh, Tartarus. That's the fastest one you can do. Um, for the expunges, it's about six, five minutes it takes to complete the one on Europa. And there's at least two champions that do spawn uh, during the Corrupted Tartarus. Though the most newest expunge, Delphi, has more than th more than two or more than three per run. But it takes a bit longer to complete it. It's up to you if you want to do that. But uh, yeah, it's that's pretty much it though. 30 is pretty easy. Just one shot them like I do. Um, and that's it. That's like the title. Of course, like I said. Yeah, it's we have to wait for this to finish, but uh, ah uh, man, hopefully this is not too confusing. I didn't really show too much footage. I try my, I usually try my best to find stuff, you know, and like try to like pinpoint. But nothing, uh, uh, there's nothing too confusing. I think this season is really easy. And this title is very easy. I I would love to show more, but it, there's just nothing that's like out of the ordinary everything is straightforward nothing too confusing nothing secret there's nothing yet to find there's no scavenger hunt there's no weird uh like terminology the only thing is just the currency is the hard part about this season it's pretty low 
like I said, just make sure you get to this season rank and your season pass, and uh, you you you're you're good to go. Oh, I did forget something. Huh. There's always something I forget now. Yeah, these uh these uh these daily missions or seasonal challenges. Yeah, these uh these have currency you can earn. So do those. Get one fifty each, so you get three hundred per these. So take those. They are a good boost in your uh, in your in your grind. Assist two fifty, possession two fifty. Look, uh -huh. one fifty. There it is. So uh, you know, get them, get this done, and I'll be happy. Okay, make me happy. Get this title once it comes out on August tenth, and that's all I can say. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't. I don't say anything. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully it helps. I hope a little bit. Please. Please. Get this too. This is good. This is not. Okay, that's it. I'm wasting time, and there's no why am I adding more minutes to the clock? Ah. <sighs>